Uh, Stuart, uh, pleasure to meet you. Uh, it's the first time you and I talk to each other. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. pleasure to meet you as well. Yeah, thank you. Um, actually, uh, Kongsberg, you're the CEO of Kongsberg. Correct. Yeah. Uh, when I look at Kongsberg, I see, um, I see growth. I see uh, innovation. I see uh, technology that is uh, making your customers hopefully more profitable and richer. Is that something that you, uh, does that resonate with you? Yeah, it does. And that's something I have a passion for, right? Bringing innovation, bringing technology, and ultimately solving customer problems. Mm. The, the, the technology itself doesn't work unless it actually solves a problem that a customer has or a need mm. or a requirement. But yes, absolutely. That's something that, that uh, we, we strive for, bringing innovation and performance to customers in their, in their days. Mm. How... Uh, how difficult is the competitive situation in, if you look at Kongsberg products, current products, and you look at the nearby future and there may be a little yeah. bit longer perspective, how, how competitive is the market in your opinion? It's, it's competitive, mm. but I, I love a competitive market. Mm. This is what drives innovation. Mm. This is what drives, I mean, the friction drives heat, makes energy. I mean, this is, this is what we're, this is what we, you know, I, the team like the competition out there mm -hmm. and, th and that's important i think in any market dynamic to have competition there mm -hmm. so we relish mm -hmm. the fact that we have competitors in fact i was just discussing with the the team it would be a dull world without competition mm -hmm. right the reason why i'm asking yeah, is yes. because um uh, when we look at the graphic arts industry in general terms right yeah. there's some segments in the industry that is growing some segments are decreasing and, uh, and, and you know, when you have a competitive situation, sometimes you, you grow bigger being together, sometimes you grow bigger being more specialized, sometimes yeah. you find your niches. Yeah. And Kongsberg, relatively short uh, time ago, got into becoming its own entity. Right? Correct. Correct. So, uh, so uh, why is that a wise decision? Well, it's not, it's not that it's a wise decision. It's that Kongsberg has been making, um, let's call them CAD CAM solutions um, since 1965. Oh, really? It's, it's, not, it's not a recent company. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and within ESCO, we grew so far, mm. but ESCO has ambitions really to develop the other parts of its business. Mm. And rather than having its attention divided across multiple product lines, mm. they said this, this is the opportunity for Kongsberg to now go and pursue mm. its own ambitions, mm. you know, fulfill the dreams of me and the team of mm. Kongsberg, and allow us to go into some of those adjacent markets and mm. perhaps bring new innovation that we that we wouldn't do within within the esco and the, and the danaher framework mm -hmm. so this was really and, and the, the best way i can describe it it was two siblings deciding to go on different life journeys mm. we didn't fall out no 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 i didn't think no it, no I didn't, no, and it, but, no but, but, yeah. but i think it can be perceived that way okay but it's I really didn't... really one brother deciding to be a yeah. doctor the other one deciding yeah. to be an athlete yeah, yeah. Going, um, i didn't yeah. think i didn't think like that but i was thinking that you know sometimes uh some companies they thrive to get bigger by merging yes. and things like but yes. this is like actually the opposite so you basically you you get a renewed focus on what you we do we get right? a renewed focus we have um, 100% of our marketing activities yeah. is for Kongsberg. 100% yeah. of the R&T software development is Kongsberg. Yeah. There is no dilution of our thinking or our efforts. Mm. And, and of course, you immediately see that um, we acquired Multicam. Yeah, I saw that. So yeah. Multicam, yeah. Yeah. this takes us into other applications and yeah. other segments yeah. that we currently and have never ventured into before. Mm. And that is, of course, also because you have, uh, with the split, you have also got access to new fresh money, right? Yes, correct. Mm. Yeah, correct. And a very motivated and fantastic uh, new owners in, mm. in Open Gate Capital. Mm. Fantastically motivated, yeah. yeah. Your role in uh, Kongsberg, uh, CEO, uh, I mean, what did you do before? So before I was the director of the digital finishing business, as it was called in ESCO. Okay. So I still so headed up have, the Kongsberg. Uh, you had yes. the history there, basically. Yeah, yeah 11 yeah. years of, 11 of years doing that okay. yeah, with, uh, with ESCO. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, living in just north of London, you said, right? Yes, correct. F family and... Um... Yeah, yeah I, have, yeah, I have a daughter who just started university. Oh, nice. Uh, and a son who's uh, like into... Uh, um, um, he's like a fitter. Okay, really? So, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He, he's really good with his hands, and my daughter's really an academic. Okay. So they're two different... Again, two so different... So like the siblings, right? Kind yeah, of that's what you said doing, diff do, doing different things, yeah. And yeah. I've lived, you know, I, would, I was born and uh, lived in England all my life. Okay. Um, you have a very good accent, so that's probably yeah, the reason yeah, why. That's right, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I head up the Kongsberg business, but I don't run Kongsberg. Mm. I lead Kongsberg, yeah, right? Yeah, this is yeah. about coaching the team. When we yeah. have a fantastic group of people yeah. who are highly motivated, extremely knowledgeable, and, and I'm a coach, right? I'm a guide to that, to take us on this journey. Mm. 
Uh, and it's been busy, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, separating from ESCO doesn't oh, yeah. happen overnight. I no, mean, no, I mean, there's rebranding and, and I think yeah. just all the legal things and the yeah. budgets and, you know, all yeah, that absolutely. Stuff, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It and you know what? I could never do it alone. No, no. Right? No. It's having the fantastic team behind me means that I can go and sort the legal things and the budget things mm. because the rest of the business has mm. professional, motivated people taking care of it mm. for us. Yeah. You mentioned that you've been with uh, ESCO for 11 years and still with yeah. the same uh, uh, in, within Kongsberg, yes. of course. But I was thinking um, when you when you reinitiate or re kind of re uh, well, I don't know the English word for it, but when you start over again, restart yeah, your your uh, new journey, right? Yes. Uh, and being with ESCO for 11 years, are you personally able to get that energy and, and you know, try to do yeah. it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Actually, my journey started, this, this, is, this, is, this ages me. <laughs> so when the Apple Macintosh was launched into desktop publishing, mm -hmm. I was running a studio, mm -hmm. right, within a printing company. So the design studio and the artwork studio. And the current owner of that business, when I was 21 years old, said, it will never take off. You know, Apple, what is this? It's so expensive. Yeah. And I left and set up my own business when I was 21. Mm. So when Esco suggested, right, okay, we're going to sell Kongsberg, I was like, I'm in, let's go. Yeah. There's no hesitation. No, no. That's, it's an adventure and yeah. it's a journey. And, yeah. and I have such a passion for yeah. the Kongsberg business. I feel, I feel your passion and I think that is like uh, uh, always interesting to talk to people where you feel the passion because it's also about yeah, as you say, coaching your staff, coaching yeah. your organization, also uh, bringing that energy to customers and prospects yes. right? is, is yeah. extremely important. Yeah, right? absolutely, absolutely. And I think sometimes it's, it gets lost. And I've been in the printing industry like 35 years now, mm. and, and it's an amazing place to be. Look mm. at the color and the vibrancy that you see at the show here at FESPA mm. it's, and the innovation and design printing techniques and materials, it's mm. fantastic. Mm. How can you not be motivated by working in this environment? Mm. And I think that's important because, you know, for me to bring motivation to the staff, because some people are in finance, some people are in admin, you know, they don't get the opportunity to do and this. And they have different motivation factors, correct. right? Yeah. Correct, <coughs> correct. <coughs> but uh, I mean, the, the, the reason I'm interested in also hearing how you can motivate and what drives things like this, I think that it's very right what you say that we in the printing industry, we are very encouraged when we see technology, when we see colors, when we see applications, when we see all those things, right? But still it's a market that I think, to, I mean, you say they've been in the business for 35 years and I take that even in the UK is also a fact that um, uh, the industry is becoming more professional. Uh, yes. Few, fewer yes. mom and dad jobs and more yes. corporates and you know, maybe yes. more excels rather than just uh, emotions. Yeah, and tech that's right. right. I mean, if you, if you look, let's take the wide, let's call it the wide format market. Yeah, yeah. 20 years ago with the first advent of inkjet, 22, three years ago, it was a craft industry, right? Yeah, Somebody who would really yeah. take the leap by a wide format printer, yeah. perhaps they're just cutting things by hand or yeah. hand routing yeah. or something like that, yeah. a cottage industry. Yeah. And of course, as it grows and it professionalizes and they have demands on financing, et cetera, it has to become more of a business. Yeah, and, that, and that's a natural process for yeah. it. I think you can't escape that. No, no. However, that's the UK, that's Western Europe, that's yeah. the United States. Yeah. You've got Latin America, the whole of Africa, yeah, yeah, Asia yeah. to yeah. come. <gasps> The majority of the world yeah, yeah. has yet yeah, yeah. to industrialize that. So the opportunity is huge. So, and, yeah. so the growth that you see with Kongsberg, I take that you have a growth uh, trajectory in mind, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I was just thinking that, that when you mentioned the rest of the world as, as an opportunity, is that where growth come from entirely? Or no, is it, no okay. both, both. I mean, we, we, get, we still get growth in Europe. Yeah. We still get growth in North America because we bring innovation, yeah. new products uh, to, 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 again, yeah. satisfy customer yeah. needs or demands, right? If there's a requirement for it, we'll fulfill it. The future also means that there is going to be higher growth in Asia, higher growth in Africa. Yeah, yeah. Now, those are still to develop and yeah. come, but they are but the future brings, for everybody in the yeah, print industry. But it brings me back a little bit to when I asked you in the beginning about uh, being innovative and you know this, because I mean, um, when I think people look at Kongsberg, uh, I mean, maybe you can just uh, uh, tell me what kind of products you have, and then we can talk about where the products are seen in the, in the future yes. perspective. Yeah, well, I think just to circle back to that, you know, you, we have customers perhaps in the UK or New York or Brussels or Amsterdam. Their requirements are completely, not completely different, but they're substantially different, let's say, than somebody perhaps in Sao Paulo yeah. or Johannesburg, where yeah. perhaps ease of use, uh, simplicity are 
more important, let's say, than ultimate speed, mm. ultimate performance. Mm. Whereas, uh, okay, so basically, you see that when you look at the technology, the markets are still very different in in skill set, in yes, uh, correct, in uh, in, uh, in output, or you know, yeah, yeah, in, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's, but there's a variation, right? Mm. There's a variation in there, and as those, you know, um, certainly if you take the example of some of somewhere like Brazil, mm. where. The, 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 the change of staff that, that works in the factory floor can change quite quickly. Mm -hmm. They don't want the ultimate in performance mm. that is extremely difficult to learn. They mm. want something that's very easy to use. Mm. You can train somebody in a mm. day mm. and they can start producing, um, whether it's on a printer or a cutter, or, you know, whatever it is, it needs to be easy for them. Whereas um, perhaps in, the, in, in Western Europe, the staff will stay longer. Perhaps their salary, they're not on an hourly rate, right? And they, they want the machine that the, the operator will, they'll invest time in and he will stay with the company for multiple years, but they get the ultimate performance. And we have to capture that. So, you know, we have some very nice uh, lean processes where we explore the customer requirement and the customer journey. Uh, and we learn to see right inside a customer business and then try, do we get, are we perfect? No, we have to balance some of the features and innovations we bring. If you were perfect, there was no reason to go to work no, tomorrow, right? No, that's right, yeah. that's right. Um, but we try and really focus on the, what the customer requires. Uh, I, I started off my, uh, my life going to college and studying to be an engineer. That's where I came from. And I know that engineers can create wonderful innovations, but the customer it has to address the need from the customer. So that's how we really uh, turn around our innovations and said, what does, what does this bring to the customer? Mm. I take that when, uh, when you got an investor in Kongsberg, uh, I, I take that they do it because they want a re return on investment, of, of course. Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, if, I mean, when, when the dust is you know, kind of come flat again yeah. and, and, and uh, business is getting like into a normal situation, both post-pandemic but also uh, from the separation. Yes. Um, I was wondering. Yeah, who would do that in the middle of a pandemic, right? <laughs> I hope it's somebody with a shitload of money. I mean. <laughs> no, no, it's good. I mean, I think the timing was ideal, right? We weren't traveling, so it was yeah. the opportunity. Okay, you to had do the it. time for doing yeah, it. That's yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. So let's say that when the dust is, you know, yeah. layered and we're ready to move on to the next chapter, where, where do you see Kongsberg in a five, ten years uh, period? Yeah, I mean, I think with the, you know, you, you see our uh, one of our initiatives there in acquiring Multicam, which, mm -hmm. and, and that is moving into adjacent markets, mm. being a provider of um, cutting solutions, mm. whether that's um, cutting corrugated foam PVC or vinyl, or is it cutting aluminium? Is it cutting granite? Is it a water jet okay. cutter? So is it could it, be anything basically. Yeah, but you know, we want to be you know, number one in, uh, that's our ambition, to be number one in the world for cutting solutions. You mm. come, come to Kongsberg and mm. we'll have a solution for you. Are we there yet? Yeah, no, mm. this is an ambition that we're going to work on. Mm. And, and the, uh, the multicam uh, acquisition shows you know, mm. the, our ambition mm. to be I, there. I, I can't help think about that if you look at um, some of the trends in the industry, not just in the printing industry, but in general, it's like uh, short-run manufacturing, uh, 3D yeah. printing, uh, faster turnaround to mar time to market, yes. things like that. I take that the, 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 the being the number one in cutting solution also means because that is basically down to the copies of one. I mean, you live that new yes. mantra, right? Yes, yeah, that's right. No, that's right. And that's, and that's the demand, whether it's in the, in the, uh, the western part of the hemisphere or in developing parts of the world, that will come. The mm. need to be just in time mm. to manufacture in small quantities or large quantities and mm. then having a solution mm. for that customer need. Mm. Um, last question, I think. Um, if you think about, I mean, we spoke about the journey where you're heading right now and you want to be number one in the world. Uh, one thing is, of course, you need the organization to, to yeah. grow that <laughs> size, of course, right? Um, the innovation of uh, technology, things like that. How much is that? Uh, how much is it based on the general technology development in the market compared to how much engineering you put it into it yourself? I mean, do you get my question? Or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of it we obviously look for generic innovation yeah. that comes in the market, yeah. but some of it, some of the projects we work on now, we're developing technologies. Yeah. Right. We don't just wait for the market because yeah. sometimes, you know, you, I can't think of a really good example, but let's say servo motors. Yeah, 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 you yeah. might see uh, incremental improvements in yeah. servo motors, but it does yeah. it exactly answer the need that we want. No. So perhaps we need to develop something specifically yeah. uh, for ourselves, but maybe in co cooperation with a manufacturer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I so, so, so I would say we pick the best of breed from what's available mm. and where it isn't, we develop it ourselves. Mm. Anything you would like to add to the conversation? No, just to say, really enjoyed the conversation. It was and fun, right? Thank you for taking the time to speak to me. I think you're more busy than me, so. Uh, thank, thank you very, very much. much. Okay. Thank you, okay. bye. bye.